Hey everyone, welcome back to the Blood, uh, Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode four. We're back at the first dream. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. I don't have enough, but. We're going to use this red jewel brooch. And it will reveal. A red blood gem. Now put that on our weapon. Physical attack up 2.7 blood boosts rally potential 1.8. Awesome. Also, let's see. You want to get eventually the repeating pistol. I'll wait though. We also want to see Gilbert really quick because he has an item for it. Always go back and talk to the NPCs. If you're following this, it should be 100% on the way to uh, do it. You won't be able to miss any NPC side quests. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this. Heck yeah. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I it's was interesting. most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. It's real sad. You need, uh, look at the stats you need. You actually need eight arcane to be able to wield this. A special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the beasts of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. <laughs> wow, good cleansing, huh? All right, now let's go buy uh, Gascoigne's set because I love the fashion in this game. Um, and it's got some really interesting defenses on it. Um, he stands up from praying. Once you slay a hunter, you can purchase stuff with uh, insight. So... Ring resonates across words, worlds for the first hunter used it. The special signal to call hunters from worlds across the gap and cooperate. This bell resonates with its counterpart in Reckoning Bell. Help hunters in other worlds. So you can use this online. Um, and now we get Gascoigne's cap. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne, similar to the hunter garb created by the workshop, only these were tainted by pungent, beastly stench that eats away the god of Gascoigne. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. It's really interesting. Pungent, beastly stench that eats away at Gascoigne. It drops physical defense, but it boosts other defenses, which is awesome. Plus, it looks cool as heck. Look at this. Look at that. Let's make sure we didn't get enough. 
we need six more bloodstone shards. We'll get those right now. Go to the Cathedral Ward. Move on. It's interesting. So this person um, right here, the beggar-looking person who's asking you f to bring people to the Cathedral Ward, he noticed, he said, he didn't, uh, the, the incense around him masked our scent. It's really interesting. The incense masked the scent. Go back and get that in a minute. Knowledge. More pebbles. Yay. Go this way. We get the wooden shield here, which is not particularly useful. Shouldn't use shields in this game. A crude wooden shield used by masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters usually don't employ shields ineffectual against the strength of beasts that they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they're gender passivity. This actually only has one awesome use in the game. Close by a device. So if you had the Hunter's Chief Emblem, if you save 10,000 blood echoes, you can get in there. But you don't need to do that because there's another way around. We're going to need to run there, grab that item, and head back. Run back. Because look at that. Something's there, but you can't see it. It's trying to suck you. Real interesting, huh? Another little hint of what's going on, what's really going on in this game. But I love this uh, set as well. Get a top hat. Hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place the emphasis on form as seen by use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of our humanity, precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. This looks really cool. 
cape that wipes away blood, a fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing the armor's beastly threat, allows once to stalk beast unannounced for the cover of the market. Yeah, top hat. <laughs> it's awesome. Continue on this way. Actually, I think we want to go the other way first. This way first. Um. Yes, because I believe, let me just check real quick, this is actually the way to progress forward. We want to take a little bit of a detour. Yes. We'll come back here. That is the way to progress forward, but we want to take a little bit of a detour. Over here. Go up these stairs and you hear the bells. You hear that big clanky clank. Bloodstone shards. <laughs> Holy crap! Two bigly guys here. Betty, come here. Nice, he dropped an antidote. Now we get the monocular. Put it on our persons here. Monocular used to view things up close. Not a hunter's tool, but simple peak used to be used to be seen one. Look at that. And then we can see. Central Yarnum from here, which is really cool. Now, up here is going to be a really tough enemy. And a uh, little critter that we want to try and kill before he gets disappeared. Away. I think he's over there. There he is. Do your attack. 
One, two, three. Stagger him and break his legs. Come on. You're spinning attack again. Do it again. That was rough. You get five bloodstone shards, but the most important thing is kill the little critter right here to get your more bloodstone shards. But we're gonna go down here. We're gonna open a chest here. Notice that there's a little door. It's closed. Tempering Blood Gemstone. Come to the right place. <laughs> nice note from someone. Okay. Now let's head this way. Actually don't want to go see that that thing is just creepy we actually don't care about going this way right now. we actually want to go back go this way we did all that so we can upgrade our weapon because this is the true path forward do and more Molotov cocktails which are awesome I don't want to go in there yet I'm gonna go this way see a gunman right there where are the dogs here They almost killed me. That was a bad idea, too. Or that was a bad move by me. Because I went ahead and just attacked them. Get Quicksilver bullets. Go this way first. Another really awesome NPC and get some exposition and some lore. We'll meet Alfred right here praying. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. 
protege of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, All right, so very later. good. <laughs> very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Ah, oh, fire paper. Pray, that's Beast the best Beast hunting fire is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on, just tell me what piques your interest. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. That's interesting. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. That's really interesting about Bergenworth. It has been a pleasure. It's a May lot of dumb people right there. May the good blood guide your way. We're going to seek Bergenworth and get a lot more answers in Bergenworth. Well, we'll meet him again across. Now, let's go in here. that more man man's knowledge at least someone down here him more madman's knowledge there now the tomb is open Careful because we have another tempering bludged stone here. Illuminate this because there's going to be a big giant guy here. Oh, missed him. So concerned with trying to get a backstab, but at least he dropped bloodstone shards. That's awesome. Go back up here. We get more antidotes. This should tell you the antidotes and that they're going to be vital in the upcoming year. Come in here. What's the sound? 
sound in that. That was weak. Punch and blood cocktail. Read this note. The town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Why would we just open the door? Before we go to the left, this is old yarn. Before we go to the left, we want to go down here. But we missed that. We'll get that another time. That is no problem. Most important thing is to get that little guy. The bloodstone shard. Careful with these guys. Torch, that's a nice upgrade. This. Torch formed by wrapping pine resin drenched in cloth around the end of a long stick once used in old yard and designed to incinerate beasts and victims touched by the scourge. Its fire damage is highly effective against beasts. I should give you another hint that we're gonna need this. Against beasts. In this area. yet. That's going to be a shortcut later on. And we'll hurry on this up. Got this item. More cold blood, dude. And now we're back at the top here. Actually, what I'm gonna do is get this back. Because we do need it. It is a bloodstone shard, which is very important. Just, we killed these guys, it won't be too bad. This way. Do this again. We'll go uh, back to the Hunter's Dream, upgrade the weapon, and then continue on to the next episode in Old Yarn Home. This is a really fun area. It's super tough, though. But it's really fun. Before we go and uh, level up, we will do that. And before I level up, I want to buy. 
A repeating pistol. Welcome. What is it? Then. Well, let me. Great skill. Tinge. Farewell, good. That's why we save these old blood dudes. We can put a... Oh, we can't yet. Because we don't have the slot, but that's okay. But we can raise our attack here. Continuous HP recover plus one. Awesome. With that, continue on in Old Yarnum on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.